Hello there everybody, this is Oxum Hardcoin Guides, bring my guide for Resident Evil 4 on professional difficulty. Today we're doing chapter 3-4, and if I'm not mistaken, I think this might be the last of all of chapter 3. So, or you know, the full entirety of chapter 3. This one's another short one once again, I think this one's about around like 10 to 11 minutes long. No, I think it's 10 minutes, yeah it's 10 minutes. That's not bad, so it's about around the same time as it was like last time. And this chapter... I'd consider more of like an Ashley chapter, only because we have to save Ashley, and then we have to play as Ashley for a little bit of time, which, fortunately for her, she's extremely simple and extremely easy to, to do and to deal with. Now, on professional mode, one thing I noticed is, I don't know if they, I, I think it only takes like two lamps to kill the guys that are chasing you down when we get to the Ashley playing part. But I feel like they're a lot more aggressive in professional mode, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Or, you know, they're a lot more... Well, if they grab you, they hurt you. So, yeah, obviously they're going to do more damage. This part right here, I believe you actually can kill Ashley. I think I've had that happen a few times. So, just watch your shots. Um, just, you know, I'd, I'd recommend using a handgun, of course, for this one. I Don't go full blast and, you know, that, that stuff. Of course, if you, you know, if you don't have handgun ammo, then I don't know what to tell you. Most likely they give you it. I mean, they give you rifle ammo, so. Alright, now for these guys. This isn't really too tough. Now, also be careful because you can shoot Ashley. That's another problem, too. I, I'd say just just keep scoping around like I'm doing right here. And just keep aiming for the head for the most part. And I, I, I don't think any of them spawn a Lost Plagas. I don't remember if they did or not. I want to say no, but I could be totally wrong. Again, luckily, they give us rifle ammo for this so we can get a nice, good, clean headshot. Now, luckily, since I have the semi-auto rifle, uh, this this thing does, like, just massive amounts of damage regardless. So, it's, it's really nice to have. I think she runs to, like, that door twice. So, we have to deal with the first wave of guys, which is, like, three or so. And we have to deal with these guys, which these guys right here, these red guys, these ones are a pain in the ass because they take about three shots just to kill naturally. At least with the, um, the amount of damage I have on the semi-auto. Now, you see I'm not really worrying about Ashley right now, and that's mainly because uh, wherever they're going to take her is, like, on the completely other side of it. I don't know why. I don't know why they need to take her over here for. It, it makes no sense, even though there's doors clearly over there. But for some reason, these guys just want to grab her. I mean, it. yeah, it's, it's, it's very odd, but there's really not much to say about this part right here because it's just nothing but shoot these guys in the head. And shoot them down when they grab Ashley. You can just use a handgun to knock her down, too. Or to knock them down. And then you can finish them off with a handgun if, if need be. If you don't have any rifle ammo, so. Once again, it's a really simple part. Just keep your eye on Ashley and just blow off their heads. The right guy comes out, just shoot him down. Make him die. That's... W welcome to Resident Evil 4. <laughs> you know, like, the only real strategies, I guess, you can I can technically give you folks is when we have groups of enemies like specific groups and like specific like mini bosses or even like sections like this where you know you're kind of at a disadvantage to some point because for the most part of the game I feel like we're we have an advantage because to me I feel like Resident Evil 4 it's like definitely one of the easiest ones to play on the hardest difficulty setting that that's just me though so when it comes to throwing the lamps um, don't don't, well, you saw what I did there. Like, it, it looked like it threw to the side. Like, it totally missed him, but luckily I hit him. I, I, I recommend waiting. Don't don't try to throw it when they're running toward you. Just wait till they get, like, they start walking around and then do it. You don't even have to kill them at all, honestly. You don't have to worry about that. This guy took, looks like, more than freaking two of these damn things to kill off. I'm trying to kill him now. I think they drop items, if I'm not mistaken, so. Luckily for me, um... Well, unfortunately, I didn't look to find out if he dropped an item or not. But, luckily for me, there was another escape route besides the gate. Now, for this area right here, I think you have to move both sides of the gate. Now, one quick thing I've one quick tip thing that I've learned about this section with Ashley is... These guys, whenever you hit them with the lamp, they take quite a bit of time before they get back up. So, you have plenty of time to actually go do something. So, if... If you know where... Yeah, you see, I totally missed right there. But if you know where to go, for the most part, you should be okay. Now, you see there, see there he grabbed me, but luckily for us, 
Ashley's not stupid enough, you know, that she's smart enough to fight back. I'll say that. She's smart enough to actually do that. This was just me letting go and just trying to kill all this guy because he's being a complete fucking tool. Yeah, see, he ran up and then he finally just stopped and then started walking and I threw it. And to me, that's the best op opportunity to throw it is as soon as they start walking. I don't know if you can walk through there if it's not completely, you know, up and like completely open or not. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't take that risk. I'd just say just mash the shit out of it and hope for the best. Unfortunately, Ashley's not Leon, so we can't just, you know, mash the best. Now, for Ashley's sake, I don't really recommend, like, healing her right now. I don't think I'd do it all throughout the entirety of the chapter. I don't know if I did in the beginning one. I mean, a green herb, maybe if you wanted to, but at the very least, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. You know, honestly, because once, once she gets taken away again, or kidnapped, well, yeah, to put it blatantly, once she gets kidnapped again... She will come back with full health, so honestly, having Ashley have any, like, healing Ashley at all throughout the entirety of the game, in my opinion, is not really worth it. But, you know, to each their own, to everybody, do, everybody does their own thing. To be fairly honest, I do like this part right here, the part with the flashlight and just having to move around as Ashley. I, I think this is actually a really good section, and I'm glad that you only need to do this, like, once throughout the entirety of the game, pretty much. They don't force it upon you like, oh, there's two characters in the game, so we're going to make you play the other character multiple times. And I'm looking at you, Spider-Man. Ugh, I hated that. There was, I'm talking about um, Insomniac Spider-Man, which you guys should know by now. I, I probably said this a million times already. I love Insomniac games. Granted, I don't have, like, Disrupt or anything like that. I have, like, Spyro and, you know, the Ratchets and Fuse. You know, I have, like, a lot of their main stuff, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, this puzzle is easily done in this order. There you go. That That's it. That's how you, that's how, that's how you do it. it. It's really simple. You go in a whole fucking square. And it's, it's really stupid simple when you've actually figured it out. But, yeah, like, I like a lot of their stuff. And I bought Spider-Man, of course. And, you know, beat it. I loved it to death. And I thought it was a pretty damn good Spider-Man game. I thought it was a pretty good Insomnia game as well. It didn't feel like Insomnia game, but it definitely was. And, uh, so they... Everyone's been talking about it on the internet. I'm not the only one that said this before, but the whole MJ and Miles Morales sections are just... It's so abundantly clear that they're fucking just thrown in there because... And I don't like that. I mean, well, okay, they're not thrown in there because... I don't want to talk shit on Sam Mag. I mean, they, they did what they did. They made their game. That's fine. Whatever. You know, you guys did what you did. I'm glad you made it. And I appreciate it a whole lot, but... I just want to give, like, feedback on my end of things and just say that I didn't really care for them that much. You know, it's not like I hate Miles or it's not like I hate MJ, which, to me personally, I didn't really care for the MJ Peter story. I never do. I never care for the, you know, the woman doesn't like the man, like they broke up, now they're trying to get back together story, so I don't, that's not a thing of mine. Some people probably like that. I just don't, you know, everyone's different, whatever. But, you know, playing as Miles was cool, but they did it, like, three or four freaking times, and it's... They can't do anything besides just, you know, pseudo stealth stuff. And it's just like, ah, I don't, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. One day, maybe one day, I, I would like to one day get to that game, but we'll see. Now, also, I know I mentioned a long time ago that I'm going to, I plan on doing God of War 2 after this. And I still have a video footage of God of War 2, but I may or may not do God of War 2. I might just change that and just say fuck God of War 2 for a while because I just am not in the mood for it. I don't know exactly what the next game is going to be after this. I, I mean, there's one that I want to do, but we'll see how I feel when I get to that point. And maybe, maybe after this, I might actually make like a full throttle, like 100% like update video, telling you guys like, hey, this is what I plan on doing. This is why I'm not recording so much and all that. Which you guys have definitely noted that I have not been doing a lot of these recently, and a lot of it just stems from the fact that I'm just lazy, unmotivated, and I just don't care right now, I guess. I'd just rather play games and do other things instead. So, I barely even work on my main channel as is. I, I, mean, I stream still, so I try to stream like every weekend for the Mario Marathon, but that's rather about it. I have Let's Plays going on, but, you know, they only happen so often, so. Alright, anyway, that's the end of Chapter 3-4. Sorry for bitching at the end, but hey, you know, we all do what we can. So, I will see you guys in 4-1. So, as always, take care, everybody.